Well, we recently did a pod about this same issue, and I'm going with the guy that I talked about there. And I love this player. I think he's incredibly talented. Obviously, he's a comeback, so some people are going to say, well, he wasn't talented last year. But uh, he is definitely due for a comeback year. And that is Juju Smith-Schuster, wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, I see you shudder. What's up, man? No, that was a shudder of excitement because if anybody, like, if you have not listened to any of our podcasts, like, go back. We've, like, the, I feel like we are so excited about the Steelers. I feel like in three of the first, like, four podcasts, we did nothing but sit there and talk about how pumped we are (laughs) for Big Ben to come back and to get rid of mason can't fall out of a boat and hit water rudolph so <laughs> like we, we we're ready so tell me why you're so pumped for juju yeah well now i feel bad because i feel like you guys have heard all the news already you've no, heard all no, no, the reasons I'm, I'm excited for your take yeah well i mean just looking at it when juju came into the league in 2017 the guy was immediately he played second fiddle to Antonio Brown. And when you play second fiddle to Antonio Brown and you're as good as you are, you're gonna have success. And he did. And in 2018, you could argue that was his breakout year. 166 targets, 111 receptions, 1400 yards and seven touchdowns. That is wide receiver one numbers. And that's what it's all about for fantasy, right? And then 2019 happens. R.I.P. <laughs> Big Ben Roethlisberger goes down. I mean, I don't even know how you go from 160 or 110 receptions to 40 receptions and 500 yards. Um, and it's just sad. It's just sad. I, I have so such high hopes for the kid. I follow him on like Instagram and Twitter. I got him I on TikTok. His life. Like I got I, yeah. the guy is hilarious. I follow I him live everywhere. Vicariously through this young kid, man, and I love him. I absolutely love him. Uh, but there were a few reasons why he underperformed last year, and I don't think it was necessarily all his fault. Again, you guys may have talked about this, but I mean, I think the big outlier here was Big Ben was he was out last year. He injured, didn't play the season. Therefore, he ended up with some lackluster quarterback play with Mason Rudolph, and I always forget the other guy. Oh, Delvin Hodges. Duck, um, Duck Hodges. Doug Hodges, Delvin Hodges. I Googled it. I didn't even remember his name. Dodge, so I had to dip, it. dive, suck Hodges. That's, <laughs> that's what we got going on over there in Pittsburgh, man. That was brutal. Yeah, man. It, it just summed up the dumpster of fire of a season that those quarterbacks And that's putting made. him mildly. Not only for, yeah, exactly. Not only for Juju, for the entire receiving core and at times James Conner. I mean, it's just when you can't throw the ball, defenses pick up on that and they're going to find ways to stop you. And that's what happened to the Steelers all year. Uh, luckily for them, their defense kept them in all year long. And if you played the Pittsburgh Steelers defense like I did, you wound up with some pretty nice points from them week in and week out. Absolutely. Uh, the offensive side of the football was not the same. You can't say the same for that. Uh, so, yeah, that was my first reason, obviously. Big Ben out. My second reason is Antonio Brown is gone. Now you thrust Juju into the spotlight, right? He winds up on the outside. Well, if you look back, Juju Smith-Schuster never lined up on the outside with Antonio Brown. He was a slot receiver. All that damage he did in 2018 and 2017, he did from the slot. So you put him on the outside. You put him with bad quarterbacks. It's basically, you kind of see where I'm going here with the end result, right? It's just not good. No, they couldn't Uh, get the ball to him. They couldn't get the ball to him. And he was also battling a couple of nagging injuries throughout the season as well. So yes. if you had a hand in poker, Juju Smith was the worst hand in poker. You could, I don't even know what the worst hand in poker is. I don't know, two, four, seven. I, I have no idea. Just the worst hand in poker. Well, he was uh, a consensus, like top 10 going in, top 10 at the oh, position yeah. and, you know, sneaking into people's like top 15 overall going into last season. Could you yeah. imagine if you ended up with James Conner? Cause he was again, <laughs> top 10 and you like, man, you'd have to be turned off, like completely stay away from these guys. But yeah, I mean, he's two years away from a, or post to having a, what? 1400 yards. Like yeah. just, and you, that shouldn't go overlooked. It, those are incredible numbers. Big um, Ben wasn't there. He's back now. 
Yeah. And that's the thing. People are going to say, well, hey, you know, Tom Brady over there in Tampa Bay is turning 41. He's got the vegan diet. He looks like a saint. (laughs) And you look at Ben Roethlisberger and he's 38. He's hammering six packs Uh, daily, although he says he hasn't taken a drink in a few months. So good for him. (laughs) But I mean, he just he's a different kind of man. But at the same time, that has what that is what has made him great. He's always been the big, burly quarterback that can stay in the pocket, that is not afraid of taking a hit because most of the times he doesn't go down. So, I mean, it. I just think that Big Ben for years was an upper echelon quarterback. And he's out for one season and people are going to say, well, injury is preventing him from being as good as he could be. Well... I don't necessarily agree with that. Top echelon quarterbacks are top echelon quarterbacks for a reason because they have a proven track record. And I think just because of an injury um, doesn't necessarily mean he should be X'd out of this season. So I have him having a good fantasy season too, by the way. And I love his current ADP going right now on sleeper at 44. I'm sorry, 45th. Like that is... That is such value. We're talking end of the fourth round. Like the guy could easily finish as a top 10 receiver and you could get him in the fourth round. Yeah, so, 100%. The value. To what, the value is tremendous. Uh, the value was not tremendous last year. To piggyback off of what you no. said, I took Michael Thomas in a 10-team dynasty startup. I had the 10 pick. Took Michael Thomas at the 10, Ooh. turned around, picked up Juju as my second wide receiver oh. off the bat. It hurt. It hurt. Oh, hurt boy. Uh, one last thing I will mention about why I think Juju is going to have a bounce back year is just who he, he is now surrounded with. I mean, you look at Ben Roethlis coming back, and I hate to put the dependency on Ben Roethlisberger for this entire Steelers team to just have this enormous comeback year. But that's really the way you have to look at it. And a couple of the things that they, had, they have done is, well – they spent a second round draft pick on Chase Claypool. He's an outside go. receiver, deep field threat. They have Deontay Johnson there, stretches the field. And they have James Washington there, stretches the field. Those three guys lining up on the outside and on the other side of Juju are going to open up that slot middle of the field where Juju thrived for two years. It's going to be open season harvest. The reports are already coming out that he's moving away from the outside. They're putting him back in the slot. And I just think all signs point like, first of all, you can't go anywhere and up anywhere, but up from last year. So hundred percent, it shouldn't even be comeback. It should be, it's like mandatory. It, <laughs> there's literally nothing else he can do, but go up. The only way he does, um, he finishes lower is if he has some catastrophic season ending injury. We're going to knock well, on some wood. About, knock like, on some wood, man. You can't, be, saying, you can't like, be saying bad juju. <laughs> Juju's only got good juju this season. I'm not the only one coming up with the good one-liners over here. Uh, I got some zingers too. Uh, 